Welcome to Germany. Good morning from Rothenburg, Oberter. I think I'm saying that wrong, but in Germany. Um, and this is a cute little medieval town and I can't wait to explore it. So I got an email yesterday that like, apparently today is a closed day for the hotel. And they're like, okay, send us the time when you're gonna be coming so we can greet you. So I emailed them, didn't get a response. So I get to the hotel and I'm kind of sitting outside and this nice lady comes out and she's about to get on her bike and she's like, oh, like, you know, you need into the hotel, but she doesn't speak any English, she speaks German. And so we're just trying to like communicate with each other. And she was able to like get me in the hotel, have my bags dropped off and then official check in is at two. That was just such a lovely interaction. <laughs> And we just started laughing because we were both just trying to like communicate with each other and she was so sweet and so nice and got me all sorted out. I just thought it was so fun and it's moments like that where I love travel and this is why I do it, you know, to interact with people from different places and just experience life like that. All right, so the first order of business was going to a cafe and getting some yummy food and I think I stood there for about 15 minutes because everything looks so good. But what I got was really tasty. I got this like hazelnut roll cinnamon thing, which was amazing. It was so good. And then this uh, roasted veggie sandwich and the bread. I'm not a big bread eater, but this bread was amazing. It reminded me of like the ratatouille when I bit into it. There was like an audible crunch and then it was so soft on the inside. It was so good. Found a public bathroom, which is awesome. And now it is time to walk the city walls and explore the rest of Rothenburg. I didn't know Grogu was German. Okay, so this is like my favorite shop ever. It's so cool. They have a bunch of swords, medieval wear. It's just like super fun. Oh, oh my god. What is this? What? Look at all that stuff. And then there's like leather bound notebooks and cool rings and fun hats. And then look at this, there's this book. And a bunch of people have signed it. This is so cool. I'm sure there's a ton of different languages in here. And you get to sign it with a quill. That's so awesome. I love that. Okay, we are going in the tower and I have no idea what to expect. Let's see. Wow. This is so cool. There's like nobody here. Like, wow. This is super neat and a little eerie, but really cool.
So behind me are the stairs to go up onto the walls and I will do that. But right now I'm just loving this beautiful scenic trail here on the outskirts of the city. It's so quiet, so peaceful and so green. I can't even imagine if you come like a couple weeks later and all the trees are like stunning autumn colors. I'm sure that's absolutely incredible. You just see like little houses nestled in the bunches of green and also this like most amazing playground ever. I mean, it's not that exciting, but it's like at a base of a castle wall. So, you know, like priorities. <laughs> I love how peaceful it is here and there's just so many places to walk around. It's really nice to get a break from the city and to be able to explore this quaint little city. And while there are like tourists here, it's not like an overwhelming amount. Like right now where I am, there's like barely anybody here and it's really awesome. I'm so glad I have a whole day here just to explore and really take my time with the place. finally getting around to walking the castle walls. I checked into the hotel room and then I made the mistake of laying my head down on the bed and took about an hour nap. Not really a mistake when you're going like this on this on these kinds of trips for two weeks, you know, it's a lot on your body and you forget that. I mean, you're walking four or five hours a day and constantly being stimulated with stuff. You never really let your body adjust to the time zone. I was like, wow, I'm actually really tired. <laughs> but back out here because I only have one day here and I want to make the most of it. And I'm really excited. It's not too hot. I brought my rain jacket out in case it does rain. But tonight there's a night watch from this tour and I'm super excited about that. Also check out this view. I'm super excited about that because I'm going to get some of the history of the place and it should just be a really fun vibe, maybe even a little spooky. So I'll show you some views from this wonderful um, little walk here on the edges of the city.
think this valley is absolutely stunning. Look at that, it's beautiful. All the green trees, some turning a little bit brown because of autumn, and then the beautiful city of Rothenburg in the back. Beautiful. So I found, I found this hike right behind me. I've been hiking uphill for a little bit now and wow this view in front of me is pretty incredible. I'm so glad that I found this path and hiked up here and there is no one out here but it's right by town. Incredible and all the trails are really well marked too which is really really nice. You're not gonna get lost but let me flip the camera around and show you this guys. You ready? Here we go. Here we go. Oh, that's so cool. All of Rothenburg right there and all the towers just emerging in the distance. Oh, and everything is labeled on here. That's really, really freaking cool. Let's get a little closer. There we go, just so we can see from that vantage point. Oh, stunning.